Hello, my name is Mary Roddy. I'm a radiologist from Charing Cross Hospital in London and a member of the OSIRIX UK user group. And I'd like to talk to you today about dual screen teaching or examining using OSIRIX. And this is one of the main attractions for those of us who use OSIRIX and it's illustrated in this image here. And this is the setup. Uh, the examiner sits with their laptop uh, containing their OSIRIX database, a list of cases to be shown to the candidate, thumbnails of the images, and then the candidate sits looking at a separate screen containing simply an image and no uh, annotations. And this scenario really mirrors the situation we used to have when we taught from film packets and we had the answers uh, written on the front of the packets. So if, as in this scenario, the laptop is connected up to an Apple cinema screen, then you don't really need any extra bits of equipment to get started. The cinema screen comes with a cable that comes out of the back with three adapters and these three adapters plug into the side of the laptop and you're ready to go. So you don't need any extra connectors if you use an Apple cinema screen. But quite often you won't have one of those and so you'll be wanting to use either the departmental projector or possibly um, your department may have bought um, an LCD or plasma display TV. Um, and if you're going to use one of these as your additional uh, monitor for the candidate to look at, you will probably need uh, a couple of extra pieces of equipment. The first is a mini display port to VGA adapter, shown on the bottom left-hand side of this image. Um, anybody who has got a Macintosh and gives lectures will probably already have one of these because this is what you need to connect up to a projector in a lecture theatre. And if you're simply using a TV, uh, you will probably also need a VGA to VGA cable uh, shown on the bottom right. Um, one end of these uh, adapters plugs into your mini display port to VGA adapter and the other end uh, plugs into the back of the TV. So that's uh, what pieces of equipment uh, you're likely to need in addition to your laptop. Um, the second thing you need to know about is the setting up of the display screens. And the way we do that is to go into System Preferences from the Apple menu and the thing we want to go into is displays. Now at the moment I have a high resolution television sitting just to the left of my laptop but I haven't connected it in yet and when my computer is not connected to anything else when I go into the displays um, tab there are only two tabs showing there's one saying colour and one saying display now what I'm going to do is plug in uh, my cable, my mini display port is plugged in so that my television is now connected and you will see that a new tab has appeared and this is called Arrangement and if I click on that you will see that that is showing me my laptop screen here with the white menu bar at the top which is this menu bar here and the second blue screen sitting to the left hand side of my computer screen is the television screen. Now I can move my arrow from one side to the other and it will appear on the TV screen or on my laptop. Now if the arrangement in the room was such that it was preferable for me to sit on the uh, other side of the screen all I need to do is move this box round and now my, I'll just move that down a little bit, my television screen or projector is now to the right hand side of my computer screen. So you just need to look at the arrangement of your room and make sure that your laptop is sitting on the appropriate side of the screen, otherwise your arrow movements will be very confusing. 
So I'll just move that back again now. The final thing that you need to know about this uh, display is that it's a very unusual scenario, but there might be a case where you have a very high resolution, large screen laptop and you have to connect it to a rather grotty old monitor in the department. And if that were the scenario, you might prefer to look at your list of cases on the grotty monitor and get the candidate to look at the cases on your laptop. And if you wanted to do that, you can move the menu bar across to the projector. And you'll see now that my menu bar has disappeared. It's gone across onto the TV screen. And so I can open up a Cyrix on the monitor, the projector, and the candidate will see the images here on my laptop. Now that's an unusual scenario, but it will occasionally happen and it's useful uh, to know about. The final thing that you need to know is that you'll see there's um, a, a box called mirror displays and if that is checked then your uh, laptop and your projector will show exactly the same image. So if you want to do dual screen teaching you must make sure that mirror displays is unchecked. One final tip is that the arrow, which is quite small, can sometimes get a bit lost when you're flipping it across onto a big screen. And so there is um, a way that you can make the arrow bigger, which is very useful when you're doing dual screen teaching. Uh, the way you do that is you go into your system preferences and you go into something called accessibility. And on that, you will have an option to increase the size of your arrow. Now on this video tutorial it doesn't look as if the arrow's got very much bigger although to me looking at it now it has got a lot bigger but um, that's what you need to do to make your arrow bigger and that will certainly be very helpful when you're doing dual screen teaching. So just to recap um, I have explained how we do dual screen teaching what additional equipment you might need in your department uh, to make this work efficiently and how you can <coughs> set up the uh, screens and the displays to make sure you're working efficiently. I hope you find that useful and thank you very much for your attention.